Swiss GDP declined in the second quarter of this year, suggesting the economy could be shrinking. I'm joined down the line today by Dr. Thomas Stuckey, Chief Investment Officer of Hipper Swiss Private Bank in Switzerland. Mr. Stuckey, could these latest results be proving the central bank's cap on the strong franc was the right decision when it was set at 120 per euro last year? No, I think it definitely shows that this uh, limit regarding euro Swiss franc is, is very important for the Swiss economy and that the economy now is, is shrinking in the second quarter. It gives another boost for the national bank that they have or they have to keep this uh, lower limit for the euro. Why is the actual figure out today so much lower than predicted? GDP fell 0.1% compared with the first quarter and analysts predicted a growth rate of 0.2%. Yes, I think it's not a surprise that the growth rate is, is lower than uh, in Q1. It's definitely a negative surprise that it's it's negative. What you see is obviously the problems within Europe that have a bigger impact, especially for the companies. Uh, investments in in, few, in equipment is, is lower than expected. That's definitely an outcome of the negative and uncertain situation in Europe. It is definitely, when you see, if you take a look at the exports, the export of goods is still growing. And the export of services is is a negative has a negative impact, and that's mainly tourism industry. Um, and we heard that, or we saw that in the last couple of weeks already, when we saw the number of the hotels and and other areas in the tourism industry that it has a definitely a negative impact, and that's primarily uh, clients from Europe, Germany, Italy. Other countries in Europe. The Swiss PMI reading out Monday showed a manufacturing slump deepened last month. Was this a sign of things yet to come? I think it's it's not a, a new sign. Uh, the manufacturing index is below 50 in a year now. Now on the other side, the cough leading indicator, it increases. It was a positive outcome. So it, I think in the actual uncertain situation, it's very difficult to see what will be the outcome. So it's also very difficult to let's say, make a prediction how Q3 and Q4 are going on. Year on year, second quarter GDP rose 0.5%, but this was well below what was forecast. What do you predict to see from the update of the SMB forecast at the monetary policy meeting on September 13? No, it's definitely all these predictions are now coming down. Also, s and will bring down their forecasts. Uh, I don't know if that's below 1%. I expect, let's say, GDP growth in this year will be a little bit less than 1%. Let's say it's still a positive growth over the year. And finally, do you predict there will be a need for the SMB's cap on the franc to remain? Definitely. Many of the numbers show it uh, Clear on if you talk to manufacturers or exporters, uh, this cap is really needed for the Swiss economy and it will last for at least another two to three years. Quasi fixed rate of 120 relative to the euro. So let's say the future of the Swiss franc is connected to the future of the euro. As I expect that the euro remains weak versus dollar and other currencies or at least maximum on the same level as it is today, I would also expect that the Swiss franc regarding to the dollar would be would not depreciate or appreciate. It would be around the same level as it is now at 0 0.95, 0 0.96. Thank you, Mr. Stuckey, for those interesting insights. That's all from me, but click back to the Duke's Copy website for more interviews and regular updates. Take care.